Hi guys, this video is about designing a motor pod to mount your motor on your boat. So what we have here is a Monero 24 and we just finished converting it to an outboard. It was a diesel stern drive before this. So there's a few things to consider when designing your pod. One is you want to make sure you've got enough clearance when the motor tilts and it's not going to hit the transom. So this one uh, it's got three to four inches of clearance, so there's no problem there. Another thing is uh, the height of the motor. So the motor is, has to be measured at a certain height above the keel, right, the center line of the boat there. From there to the cavitation plate here. So it with every boat and position it, it's a little different for this uh, design here the, the further away you are from the transom keel the higher the motor goes so we usually just try to design for about three and a half inches up so we have a stick to run through and from there in my design I kind of try to make the the bracket hole match to the center there. Now it originally was there but then we after a sea trial we raised the motor up one notch so that's why it's not in the middle. Okay so we've done that now next the swim grid usually we want to keep in the same place and we want the motor uh, the pod to fit tight up in there. You can kind of see that and sometimes the, uh, the angle isn't exactly the same between the swim grid and the pod. So we fill in that space uh, with some uh, paste. Uh, I can show you that later. But we have to cut a hole in the swim grid to access inside so we can bolt it into the transom. Um, the thing we want to look at is clearance of all the the steering cylinder and hoses and that, that it's, it's not going to hit the swim grid. So this motor is it's a bit different than others. It has a built-in steering cylinder. Usually the steering cylinder goes through the, the tilt tube here uh, and it, it moves as the motor tilts, but this one it's fixed and it's a lot higher than other motors. So with that, we didn't have to notch out the swim grid at all. So that's mostly it. You know, we've got certain thicknesses of aluminum that we use. That's all welded up and then powder coated white and then the bottom is painted blue. Um, underneath that is epoxy. Here's a bit different design. This is a much shorter pod. There we go. That's because the transom as you can see is forward. The transom up here is forward of the hull down here. That's just the design of our boat. So we didn't need to make the pod so long. And there uh, so it has a uh, hatch there so instead of uh, through the swim grid we're just uh, putting a hole right there and you can see inside there's there's the mounting bolts so it was all designed again it will clear the transom but this one uh, this is the 300 Yamaha the steering cylinder is not on there yet but uh, it will go here and um, just to clear the motor from the swim grid we did notch this swim grid out you can see that was the original edge and it was a, a cutout in here so that will clear the motor not by much though and here's a third one that we're doing uh, this is another conversion from a stern drive. So the whole 
and the transom's been filled. You can't even see it anymore. Uh, but the swim grid, you can see where the swim grid was. You can see the line on the top. So it's going back in the exact same spot and it will sit tight on top of the pod here and there is a hole in the swim grid uh, in the top in the middle there to access the, to get your bolts on but uh, we put the pod on and then we put the swim grid on and we actually have to cut out the uh, swim grid uh, flange but uh, I'll show you that so here's that uh, swim grid that uh, goes on top of that uh, last pod we just showed you you can see we, we notched out the flange here so it'll fit around the pod and here we've uh, taken up the space so there was a gap between the pod and the swim grid mostly due to the the varying angle so here it's almost nothing here but it builds up to it's about three-eighths of an inch or so so we put uh, plastic down and we put this bondo on and it, uh, it sticks to the swim grid and then when we put it down we'll put some sealing on there and it's all sealed up okay here is the last one so this has twin 150 Yamahas and again it's a little bit different design this is going on the same boat as the second one that had the Yamaha motor on it now with twins the motors will sit higher um, so because of that the pod is actually higher it, it, it steps up compared to the other one where it was uh, I think it was straight across uh, so we have this step here and then we have our access hatches to mount it there's two one on that side too um, but otherwise uh, for and aft it's the same dimensions and we do have another boat coming in in two days for a conversion uh, that is a 24 with uh, it's got a, a Merck stern drive and we're putting a 300 uh, mercury on that one all right, so that's it. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about the design of the pods. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.